Hi, this is Joel Mayer. I propose to create an abacus with cardboard and beads. Use 14 ply cardboard or recycle a cereal box or a shoe box. Print the pattern on thick paper. Cut out around the outside line and remove the inside as well. Trace the outer and inner outlines of the abacus twice on the cardboard. Cut out the outside and inside with large scissors or an X-Acto knife. You will then have two cardboard frames. If you recycle the cereal box or a shoe box, first paint the frame of the abacus in white to hide all the markings. To make my abacus, I used the shoe box. The background color of the shoe box was quite dark, so I put two coats of white paint to hide the background color of the box. Next, paint both frames of the abacus in a color of your choice. You can paint them in different colors if you want. To have a nice uniform color, add a second coat of paint. Let it dry well. Decorate each of the sides of the abacus as you wish. I decided to decorate one side of the abacus with dots of paint of different colors. To make dots of paint, use the back of a paintbrush or for larger dots, the eraser at the end of a pencil. Dots of paint take a long time to dry, so be patient. For the other side of the abacus, I decided to decorate it using the Zentangle method. I began by delineating sections with three hand lines. Zentangle is a kind of artistic meditation where you draw different patterns, letting yourself be guided by your inspiration. In short, for kids, it's an exercise in drawing straight, wavy or broken lines, circles, dots and so on. With this technique, no two abacuses will be the same. I use the black marker to draw the patterns. After creating the frame of the abacus, it is now time to work on the rods and beads. You will need wooden skewers and beads. The hole in the beads must be large enough to slide them on the wooden skewers. If not, Replace the wooden skewers with metal rods. Take scraps of cardboard and trace the shorter side of the abacus twice using the pattern. These ends will serve as spacer later to compensate for the thickness of the rods. Take the pattern of the abacus again with the triangular markings visible. Place the pattern on the back of one of the sides you decorated earlier and then move it slightly to one side to mark the 10 points where you will need to glue the wooden skewers. Slide the pattern in the other direction to mark the other side of the frame. Take 10 wooden skewers and with pliers cut them just a little shorter than the width of the abacus. Thread 10 beads onto each stick. You can use beads of one color or different colors. For each stick, I chose to put two different colors, five beads of each color because that makes them easier to count. When you have threaded 10 beads on each stick, glue the stick in place without glue on the frame you marked. Use the marks to align them properly. Next, glue the spacers to the top and bottom of the wooden skewers with white glue. Match them exactly to the abacus frame. You may have to shorten the sides if they are in the way of the wooden skewers. These spacers will compensate for the thickness of the sticks. Put white glue on the other side of the spacers and then put hot glue on the sticks. Then, without waiting, glue the other side of the abacus on top so that the rods are between the two frames. Your abacus is now ready for use. To obtain the document with illustrated instructions and the pattern, click on the link below the video. And don't forget to visit the AnimaPlace website where you will find hundreds of other fun ideas.